Hello and welcome to step 6 of the 12 steps to Navier-Stokes equation originally from Lorena Barber and in this case we will look at 2D convection. So rather than multiplicating um, the formula with a constant c, we are now multiplicating the differential terms uh, with the function values. And for that reason we have two equations and rather than one equation in, um, in the step 5 but we can take a lot of step 5 and just change it a little bit to gain those two equations. So what I did is I copied step 5 into step 6 and we will just go from there. What we need to change at first is uh, in the memory pre-allocation we need two other um, vectors and this is v and vn. And we will um, just put it like here, that we would give them once with um, a matrix of n, y rows and n, x columns. Mesh grid is uh, the same, so there is no change in here because it has no u and no v's in here. But we now have to copy both. Uh, we have another Vn and we copy V into Vn. And we have um, also another equation in here, not just the U but the V as well. So I copy U and just change it to be V. And I will just do that with uh, certain replace. So we will get <coughs> replaced by um, you will get replaced by V, just find the next, replace, 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 and so on, until we are done. And also the C is replaced by U in the first line, and let's check back the equation. It's u in the first term, v in the second, so here it is u and here it is v. Here it's v and here it is u. And we also have to do the same boundary conditions also for v. So another four statements with v going to the to define the boundary conditions of the V function. I think that will be about it. I'll just check if we uh, had something else to do. Well, I think that should be it. Just save it and run it one time and we have an error. Um, mismatch. So let's see, both are depending from, from i and j and the mismatch in line 30 is because of u I think. u was to be a matrix and y and an x, that is perfectly correct. Now we'll see what I coded in the first place. Just post my original code below um, the one we have now. Maybe there's some typos in here. Ah, certainly. We don't. We cannot use u in here, but we have to use un. And also, we cannot use V in here, but VN. Right, now let's check that again. Error in step 6. Still the mismatch. Okay, one error is done. Second error to go. I will just copy the equation back below it. And we will do another search. Okay, e y that is perfectly correct. 
Ah, okay. Now I'm getting it. UN has to be depending on E, I, and J. And not the whole matrix has to be implemented in here. So VN also depending on I and J. And in the second term also I and J. Sorry about the confusion. I hope it helps if you see me correcting my own errors because maybe you got something similar. And if you see a solution way, then it's always good to see how it was done. Now in this case uh, we have finally a solution but it's just displaying here some stuff which I don't want it to do. So I fixed the semicolon, I think it was here, and run it once again. So here I'm a little bit too slow, maybe increase the pause. Well, you can see uh, the shape in here and what it does. I'll reduce uh, the number of time steps a bit in order to just not traveling to the far end of it. Um, yeah, now you see the change in shape and the translation of the wave according to the equations named in step four. I hope that helped and um, I hope to see you back soon. Thanks for watching.